What's up guys, it's Jordy here, back again with another Shadow vs. video, and this is another deck and gameplay video, so as always, if you like the video, make sure we get, give it a thumbs up, and we get over 75 likes in the first week, I'll post another video with more gameplay with the deck. The deck fe we're featuring today, because I am a meta slave, and I want to bring you guys the competitive decks in metas, is uh, Daria, for Daria Rune in rotation. So, um, Daria Rune and Dirt Rune in general, like both Daria and Dirt Rune are doing pretty well in rotation right now. And so, yeah, this is the deck that I'm running. Um, the deck is actually quite flexible. You could ad adopt, adapt it to your preferences or um, the play style that you want to play it. Um, because, as you can see, I'm running one meter giant bulk just to deal with bigger threats or in the mirror match. Uh, just kind of weigh a tempo out, like if you have a bunch of zero cost spell boosted followers and you could play them with your Mutagenic Bolt, it's pretty nice. Um, core guards in here, like the spell boost followers, you got the Craig, the Clark, Blade Mage, Daria, um, Chimeras of course. And I'm running two Frozen Mammoths because of course if you set up the Frozen Mammoths then you go Daria or Chimera, you could get a really big board and have a really huge swing turn. Um, two Golem Assaults, some people are running three. But Golem and Solid's in here because it produces more spells for your spell boost, it gives you more gas, um, just overall more fuel, and then if you could get out multiple Conjure Guardians, it could protect your board. So we got that. Two Concentrations for more refill, um, because in Daria, even though Daria does draw you five cards, you could um, run out cards in your hand quite quickly, so we have two Concentrations in here. Um, I don't actually have any Earth Sages in this deck, some people are running like some Earth Sages to go with the Golem and Solid's and Concentrations. Um, but I couldn't find a space for it because we're running triple Mysterious Knowledge. This is rotation, so you can run three in in your deck. A very good card because it produces two spells for two cheap spells for your spell boosting, um, your owls for additional spell boosting. So yeah, basically, um, if you don't know what Daria playstyle is, basically you just play a bunch of spells. You get all your um, your spell boost followers to cheap, uh, essentially zero, and then you have those huge swing turns where you just dump a huge amount of stats on the board where your opponent can't deal with and then you just kill them with it. So yeah, this deck, there's a lot, like I said, there's a lot of flexibility in this. You could play more or less Frozen Mammoths, you could do more or less Concentration Golem Assaults. Um, you don't have to run Mutagenic Ball, you could run like um, Enchanted Sword instead if you like. Pretty budget friendly deck as you can see the only legendary is Daria. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below on which rune do you like best? Do you like Daria rune or do you like Dirt rune better right now in rotation? And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification so you know when new videos are up. Give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. As always guys, I appreciate the support and thank you so much for watching my video. Alright, Port of Craft should be a good matchup for us. They Unless they could um, get a bunch of artifacts going, but hopefully by that time, we're going to have like a Daria on turn 5. Generally, you want to just have Daria in your opening hand. I like to hard mulligan a lot of times just for the Daria because it is the, the engine of your deck. So it's the key card, you want to you want to have it. And our hand's actually, this hand's really good. Craig and Clark into Daria. So we're going to be able to get Daria out on at least turn 5 if we want. Icarus is fine. So you might drop a 2-3 next turn. Um, that's probably fine though. We have Piercing Rune or Magic Missiles. So I think we could go for the damage face. He might take the trade for us anyways. If he takes the trade for us, plays a 2-3, we could just trade uh, Bump and Magic Missiles. Cat Cannoneer, okay. I've seen um, Artifacts been playing more um, rush the Rush cards now. Um, drawing the second Daria is always not that good, right? Because now I can't, I have one less Daria to keep going on my gas on. But yeah, we're just going to play the Blade Mage here. Magic Missile is just really slow, and I don't really want to draw more cards. I'd pro I'm just going to drop Daria next turn. Because our hand's like not doing anything. We lose one Daria. Um, hopefully we can find the third one. But, yeah. 
go ahead and do it. We don't want an insight here because if I draw the third Jaria, that'd be really bad. And it doesn't really change anything on my play point costs. Okay, so we're going to evolve over this 4-3. Um, Daria being a 7-7 seven, seven is actually pretty good stats, so whatever he evolves into will trade into the Rit Witch. Unless he has like the artifact, then that'd be really good for him. Substitution is also really good. Okay. Um, hmm. So we could play the Chimera this turn. I don't have to. I could just go Concentration and Clark instead. Or we could go Mysterious Knowledge, see if we get the missiles to kill that. There's a lot of options. The thing is like if I want concentration, I get more potentially more followers for my Clark. But we could go Mysterious Knowledge instead, wait on the concentration. Mysterious Knowledge if we get the circle, it's really bad. Yeah, let's just go concentration into Clark here. Alternatively now. I could go Insight plus Craig and then Chimera. Chimera's could probably do better than just killing a 2-2. Alright, we'll just play the Clark here. Next turn, next turn we could be a bit more explosive because we'll be able to play Chimera and Ogler and Craig most likely. Second substitution. So he has two puppets in his hand. He's going to evolve this lion just to be more aggressive. Um, the entity. So I can't really burst him that hard. Magic Owl is not that great here because my spell boost is essentially free anyways. This is the magic missiles here so we would just... So this turn isn't bad, but it could have been better. Like we don't, we don't have the mammoths or anything. He has two puppets. Plus he has the rush artifact, so he's he's probably going to be able to clear this board. Oh, he drew the analyzing artifact. He's going to be able to evolve his two three though into my ogre. He is out of cards though. Um, he gets one extra card off the artifact, but he's getting low. If he's getting low on resources and we draw Daria, then we could definitely run away with this game. Golem Assault. I probably want to use a Golem Assault for the Enhance. Um, I could wait till next turn. This turn I could just develop these. And we'll just go face for two. We don't have to kill that artifact. He's going to trade it anyways. Yeah, because I'm like so out of cards. The Golem Assault, I might as well just use the Enhance. Chrono so That's interesting. He gets his refill. He doesn't even need... um. He doesn't even need Duex Machina. <laughs> I can evolve over this Kronos. Yeah, I think I will. I'm gonna draw five cards, which is fine. I I need I need cards too, so the Kronos will actually help me. And because I'm because I'm playing um Daria Rune, I can dump cards really quickly because they get cheaper. I just have to watch out that I don't uh fatigue deck out, but I don't think the game will get that long. He's already at, he's only at eight. Uh, so we can do six. We need three damage. The 
start off with our knowledge. Mm, we wanted to have the missiles. We could develop a lot into the board. I want to go face. We need to kill him eventually, right? Pick up the Muta Jank Ball is actually really good. Luckily, I didn't burn it. The Muta Jank Ball might get me the last bit of damage that I need. We set the Conjure Golem just to the, uh, protect our board a little bit. It's hard for him to get through like all my, all these 2-2s two and 2-3s. Two Maybe he's going for the plan of me decking out. <laughs> No, he's just dead now with the Mita Jank Bolt. Oh, he was dead without the Mita Jank Bolt because I pierced in Rune as well. Lots of ways to kill him there. All right, we're playing for a chess. Uh, maybe it's Big Shadow. Big Shadow or Reanimate Shadow is pretty good against Daria. I do have the um, Meter Jank Box though. So yeah, we're just going hard mode again for our Daria. Okay. We don't have Daria in hand. We might try to go off on the Chimera and Frozen Mammoth to win this game. I'm just going to play the Craig here so I could develop a 2-2. Next turn, it's probably Concentration. Um, unless I really want to Mysterian Knowledge. I don't think we ever throw the Mammoth, so... He's just passing on his turn 2, so it's a good turn to Concentration. Hmm, double Owls. So it's kind of awkward. Goblin Mage. Okay, so it's probably the Reanimate Shadow. I could just piercing rune this. Um, alternatively, Mysterian Knowledge, if I get the circle, is kind of au really awkward. Magic Missiles or Double Owls, not that great either. I could go Double Owls, but he just trades into both of them. Uh, yeah, we'll just piercing rune here. If I played two spells instead, I could have got my Chimera down to four, but I can't play Frozen Mammoth and Chimera. I, s I don't have enough play points or I have to set up the Mammoth the turn before. Um, my Chimera is going to get cheap enough, especially if I evolve my Owl where I could play Mammoth on the same turn. So this turn I could go for the Missiles and Knowledge. So yeah, we'll Missile first, see what we draw. And then we get Knowledge. And then Owl. The yeah, Owl's not spell boosting too much, but we get we at least get some targets off of it. So next turn I could go Mammoth plus Circle and Chimera. Or I could go Magic Owl. I could go Magic Owl, Evolve it, and play the Mammoth plus Chimera and Blade Mage. How do I deal with the... Maceris is kind of annoying. See what we draw first. I I need to kill the Cerus. I could evolve the Mammoth. My Chimera is kind of wasted though, but I think I don't think it's that big of a deal. Yeah, we might as well just play the Blade Mage for 2 damage. Um, 
actually we'll evolve the Chimera here. Spread out the damage a bit. My Chimera only gets put to one health. But he could have something like a Soul Squasher which would be really bad. Because Soul Squasher would kill both of my Mammoths and then he could evolve into my Chimera. Come on! Ooh, lucky! Okay. That's what we needed. <laughs> Since we're so low on gas. Alright, let's see what we get off our knowledge first. An air circle. Which is actually fine, actually, here, in this case. Because now they protect my mammoths. And I can go face with my mammoths here. Um, so this is actually really hard for them to get through. I think we, sh we should have this game. Of course, I think the missiles would still be good. Like, both cards were good, but the missiles would have been able to kill his Necro Assassin. Oh, he's playing Anubis. That's interesting. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and Golem Assault here. I don't think it's time to move to Jank Bolt yet because he could still drop like a Kawi or um, he could just play big stuff still. And if I play Mute Jank Bolt too early, I won't have enough reach. Is he just going to go face here? Oh, he got greed. I mean, it's. I think it's fine to not play around the Mute Jank Bolt because I'm Daria and not many people would expect it. But the Mucha Game Ball got him this game. Feels good. I think going phase was correct though. He needs to kill me.